Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the the Czech news story got posted. There's no video Indeed. with it, but it's there. Oh no, no, this video. Oh, there is. Yeah. Oh, there is a video. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we should watch that video. We have just jumped up. We should desert busception. Nice. Wait, what? I've been sitting here. When did that? What? We have this amazing giveaway. Yeah. For this yes. portal blanket. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. Look upon its detail work. It's so thick. But uh, yeah, we have sweet engineering has the. Uh, has the video ready? Let's uh, take a look at uh, the local news reporting. It's not it's glamorous. Not, it's not glamorous. Says Surge. There we go. Mm, but uh, Desert Bus definitely runs on Fernwood Coffee. You need a lot of that when you've been doing this 24 hours a day. Wait, pause the video for a second. Now. Do we know if they took any exterior establishing shots? They That's did not. They did not. No, we followed them around. Yeah. Awesome. Continue. <laughs> Please. Manning the wheel of a video game called Desert Bus, reviewed as the most boring video game ever created. Everything about this is amazing. But it's the driving force behind an annual fundraiser that's raised nearly four million dollars for children in need. We play the world's worst video game in 24 hours. Jenny Trin. There's a drop. This is a behind-the-scenes look at the makings of Desert Bus for Hope, an internet video game charity telethon. The more people donate, the longer this bus stays on the road, while these volunteers entertain viewers any way they can. <laughs> oh, no. Every additional hour costs 7% compound interest. So we estimate the event will run six to seven days. While the concept is simple, they're live, so just heads up. The production is anything but. This is our audio video. You can see the live feed that's happening right now. It's got multiple cameras associated between audio and video. A team of 52 volunteers take shifts on screen and off. There's social media, photography, celebrity guest appearances, and live auctions. It's so pretty. It's all streamed online, where thousands tune in worldwide. All while this bus keeps rolling. The amount of generosity you see from people on the internet from around the world is just amazing. So we've got the preview monitor. And when we get in behind the wheel, the reactions from the online world are instant. Hello, this is Robert. Take the driver's seat. Take the, the, the seat of power. This is the comfiest chair, too. Uh, chair two. This is now the driver. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, yeah. And as this charitable road trip continues, organizers are asking you to hop in the passenger seat by donating online to help them reach their destination. The idea of gamers being able to help out and get games to sick kids in hospitals and women's shelters around the world is just such a great way to give back. Nope, that's not our can, URL. How quickly can we get that URL? Apparently James is on it. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Because I was, I was just saying to Matt, that's probably one of the best news coverages of this <laughs> event I've well, seen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to double check that article make sure it's okay, and make sure it hyperlinks correctly. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Dan's going to go do his job. Because. Check. Yeah. 